Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's been a while. I've been busy with work, both my paying job and my volunteer writing and editing job. It's been just busy. I mean, this past weekend I went to PhilCon in uh, here in New Jersey. It's the 80th year of or this was the 80th year of the convention. It's the longest running convention in, I guess, since sci-fi and fantasy has been popular. It started out as a literary, uh, literary convention. Now it's all sorts of fantasy and sci-fi fandom. So, I was there working, so it wasn't like, ooh, I get to go shopping, and I get to do this, and I get to go to all these channels. I was actually working, I was doing <clears throat> film, uh, the videography for the group that I write with. Um, technically, I'm the assistant to the videographer, but Friday I was main videographer because... Like, my boyfriend, who is the main videographer, had to work, so I was there in that capacity. Next year, I'm probably going to be running panels, um, because by then all my, all six of my articles should be published with the magazine. Uh, I did do a little bit of shopping, not a whole lot, just enough to be happy and have fun. I got a few, I got three books, two books, and a magazine. So, and, well, three magazines. All from the same publisher. Not all of this was from the same publisher, but the magazines were all from the same publisher. So, my general thoughts on Philcon is apparently they don't really want to be successful because. My boss has offered several times to make, like, commercials for them and to promote them, and they're non-profit, so it's one of those things that's like, yes, we know you're not profit, but we could definitely get more people into this convention. Like I said, it's just had its 80th year, so it's a very old convention, and... A lot of the, you know, attendees are typically the 35, 40 plus group. So it's a very different convention vibe from like, say, an anime next, which I go to, which is very young, it's very hip, it's very all the new anime. It's very different from Walker Stalker Con, which while it has a huge age range, it's, you know, we talk about walk Walking Dead and that's it. And sometimes there's other stuff. But, <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold. This was not con plague, this was something completely different. Um, but on to the books I got. So the first book I got is the free book. And it is, it is something special. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be, like, back to the camera, but it's, it's a little annoying here. It is called Amish Vampires in Space by Carrie Nyet. Isn't that cover lovely? And Generally, I don't make fun of people because if you put your heart and soul into a book this thick, then, like, but this is literally Amish Christian science fiction, and I am so excited to read this. It is, it's going to be a thing. The main character, I think, is Jebediah, yeah, Jebediah, um... There's a whole planet of Amish people, apparently. Um, yeah. 
This is just, it's his fifth novel, which is exciting. He also has Amish Zombies from Space. So this is going to be a fun read. This is going to be a super fun read. This was uh, on the free table. I can't imagine why. The next book that I got is Shards Thugs. And it's basically a, by uh, Dexter Heron. It's basically the way the author sold this to me was, it's a D and D campaign from the goblins' point of view. So it's like these crazy humans are just like killing us. Why is this happening? And he did sign it, and it says to Courtney, "May the adventure never end." And I just I really like that. Um, and when I go to conventions like this where there are independent authors, I do try to grab books from them, from the independent authors, because with the exception of a few people who will remain nameless, it's a labor of love, and it might not be the best thing ever written, but they wrote it, and somebody published it. I don't know if this is a vanity publisher. It, it might be. But even I think there's something to say about vanity publishing a book, especially if you care about it, and especially if I like talking to the author, like, I really enjoyed our conversation, um, and I'm like, yes, yes, I'm going to buy your book, I need your book. Uh, he plays World of Warcraft, so we talked a little bit about this, and he's like, do you play Horde? And I'm like, of course I play Horde. What what faction would you play? Alliance? Why would you play Alliance? Like, no, it's Horde all the way. I am Forsaken. The zombie queen, the banshee queen, is my queen. So, <laughs> um, he's like, you need this book. You play Horde, you play World of Warcraft, you play Horde, you need this book. I'm like, yes, yes I do. Uh, the next book I got is incredibly like special because Peter S. Beagle is my favorite author as we've talked about before. This is called In Calabria and the best part about it is it's a signed copy. Yeah. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to read this. It was just published earlier this year. Um, and I'm excited, and I finally, finally have something signed by Peter S. Beagle. I didn't get to meet him, because he doesn't usually come out to, I almost said New England, but this isn't New England, this is New Jersey, but he doesn't usually come out this way. He usually stays uh, in the California region. But um, one of the booksellers is from San Francisco, so um, he just has them come in and sign stuff all the time. And the last thing I got was these three magazines. It's Cemetery Moon, Trial of Indiscretion. I don't think that's the name of the magazine, actually. Maybe it is. And, um, The Realm Beyond. I think that's really pretty. It's not. It's kind of like steampunk fantasy. I like that. Um. But yeah. And what caught my eye is they had a flyer and it says, Writers Wanted, and I'm like, Yes, please. I would like to write for you. And again, it's kind of volunteer. You don't get a whole lot. You get a copy of the magazine and a few other little perks. But I figure if if I write for this, my phone and my iPod are just going crazy right now. I'm sorry. Um... If I write for this, my name's out there. And I can, when people are like, oh, where can I read your stuff? I can point them somewhere. And it, it's a short story. I think 
yeah, they want under 5,000 words, and I can bang that out in an afternoon, like, not to be like I'm so great at writing, but I could bang out 3,000 words, uh, a 3,000 word short story in an afternoon. Um, so yeah, that was my, my Philcon adventure. There's definitely, probably in a few months, going to be some footage from the panel that I will definitely link down below. Um, or I'll make a new video when the footage gets compiled and edited, because it's going to be a process. But I hope everyone has a great day. I'm glad to be back making videos. I'm not going to promise another video today, but you never know. It might happen. It might not. I don't know. But until then, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye now.